Hello everyone, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel. Do not forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel content. Today is Saturday, June 6th and yes, I had to look at my calendar because I've been in the house for almost four months. I just got finished working out with my girl Gloria. We do Zoom workouts every Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're interested in joining hit her up I will put her Instagram handle down below send her a DM and work out with her because like you guys look Woo! Uh, and that's from just a 40 minute workout you guys I actually just got finished crying yes on my zoom workout maybe like 10 of us we're all black women so when we got finished with the workout, we were all kind of talking about what's going on and like the state of the world and just kind of how I have been like getting kind of a lot of backlash from the black community about continuing to post like regular content promoting like my business during this time. And like I really kind of let that get to me. I stopped posting anything really that had to do with me. I didn't think like it was very appropriate and more about what's going on in the world with George Floyd, with Breonna Taylor, with police brutality, with racism, and just how black folk are treated in today's society. And I think that's a bigger issue. And so that's what I was focusing on, but I've also kind of been feeling like I still want to promote my business and promote like myself because I am a black owned business. Like you watching this video, helps support me as a black entrepreneur who is doing this full time. Engaging with my Instagram posts, you swiping up or buying something from a link, that's you supporting a black business. I wasn't actually gonna vlog for a while, but I have a few things I'm gonna do today that people have been asking for. I am going to finally show you all how I do a twist out. I don't think I've ever fully shown how I do my twist outs and then how it'll later turn into like a puff like this. I'm also gonna cook one of my favorite dishes which is a spinach tart. It does have cheese and cream in it and if you guys have been watching me for a while you already know that I'm lactose intolerant but like I have been craving this spinach tart so we gonna see y'all i'm gonna use like less cheese and less cream than it calls for hopefully i won't break out because that's normally what happens when i eat like milk products not so much cheese but the cream it also just kind of does a number on my intestines so we gonna see y'all and if you're new here welcome please throw me up a hands up you know a hi it's me emoji down in the comments if you are new if this is your first time watching one of my videos i implore you to check out my other videos i do a lot of fashion hauls like kind of educational fashion videos fashion week vlogs travel vlogs i've been to morocco paris bermuda barbados miami i have guides for all of those check out the links down below in my description box if you want to purchase anything from them i do get a small commission from the brand and that helps me out as an entrepreneur. Also, I just want to tell you all to just have a little grace, especially if you're black, have grace for your people because this is a tough time. We are living in a pandemic and through a genocide and it's a lot and you don't know anybody's story. You don't know how people are handling it at home. A social media post doesn't really mean anything about how someone feels. Just like you might see a lot of brands posting those black squares and you know that they not really about black folk or black lives, but they do it to be a part of the trend. I'm black every day. I support black owned businesses all of my life. If you have been here for a while, you've seen all of my vlogs and all of my videos. There's rarely one that doesn't feature a black owned business, whether that's beauty, hair, fashion, like I'm about that life. And if you're not, this channel is not for you. It's not. Let me show you guys my workout outfit. I actually featured this outfit in a blog post a little while ago. It was at home with Walmart fashion. And this was one of the things that I picked up from Walmart. It is this workout set. Sorry, it's 
covered in sweat right now I got the size medium if it's really well if it's still available I will link it down below I'm not sure if we're supporting Walmart at this time I don't know if they've donated to anything relating to black lives matter but I'm keeping up with those types of things so we'll see y'all also if you are interested in donating to any of the black lives matter causes or any of the memorials for George Floyd or Breonna Taylor or the countless other senseless murdered black folk by police officers. There are several links down below so you can donate to bail funds for protesters, to memorial funds, and to Black Lives Matter. There are also links down below to sign petitions. It's just so easy, it literally takes just like a few seconds. That's something you can do to help. You can also make sure to like head over to my Instagram and check out the list of black businesses that I posted. I like wore a bunch of different black designers and black owned businesses in a post and I like link them all in my caption. So there's over 30 of them so if you're looking for some to follow definitely check out my Instagram. I also posted a ton of black creatives and influencers to follow. Make sure to check those out. So I'm gonna shower now because I feel disgusting and I just want you guys to know I love you thank you so much for supporting me thank you for watching my videos for commenting for shopping for sharing just thank you I could not live out my dream of being a young black entrepreneur without you so just by watching this you're helping me so thank you so much I appreciate you and I love you let's get into taking a shower and doing something with this hair. Also, if you haven't watched my updated bathroom video yet, definitely check that out. I just feel like I'm redoing my entire house right now. You know, I did my bedroom not too long ago. If you're interested in that video and all of my bedroom decor, I'll link it down below. A lot of you love my closet and if you love it, you should check out the video. There is a video all about my packs closet and then there's also a video showing you guys details about everything in my living room my plants my bookshelf everything you need to know will be in my apartment home decor video if you're new check all that out it's all below let me clean up this mess from working out and then we will wash this hair I wash my hair in the shower and I use the Moroccan oil hydrating shampoo and repair conditioner and my hair is popping right now like yes I put on this nice little house dress that I got from H&M recently I actually wore this on Instagram not too long ago and everyone was was asking about this dress so I linked it over on my like to know it account if you're new here that is where I link pretty much everything I post on Instagram including my home decor it'll just say shop my closet so you could check that out but love this dress I got the size medium they also have one that has like very pale like a floral print with like pinks and greens and yellows and that one is so beautiful it keeps selling out but I want that one too anywho while I was in the shower I was using this herbal bamboo charcoal detoxifying soap bar and you guys this stuff is magic okay I got it from Sephora and I recently included it in a blog post of like my favorite body products self-care products for my body and for stress there are some CBD products in that post too I'll put a link down to that post you can check it out but I love this soap like I use it on my body and it is amazing for any kind of body acne, body scarring. I get a lot of like back knee or acne on my shoulders and upper back and this has helped it so much you guys. So if you have any problems with like body acne or body scarring from acne, definitely check out this soap bar. I will link it down below. Alright 
guys so I'm gonna grab all the products that I use to do a twist out I like to do it while my while my hair is still damp I feel like it comes out better that way I use a variety of products sometimes I use Camille Rose sometimes I use Shea Moisture sometimes I use Miss Jessie's look I just have a bunch of different ones that I use today I'm definitely gonna use the Camille Rose so let me grab them all right guys so here are all the tools I need I have a towel I have my Camille Rose Almond J Sweet Almond Milk and Honey Twisting Butter that nourishes and elongates tresses. I have a little bottle of water just to spray my hair in case it gets too dry. And I don't really use a comb or anything like that. I just finger comb my hair with my hands and I'm actually gonna sit on the floor because this is just what I do when I twist my hair up. I'm just gonna do two strand twists and take you guys with me so you can see how I do it. But first I'm gonna make myself a coffee because it is almost noon and I haven't had a coffee. By the way, here is a better look at my dress from H&M, size medium. I love this. This is a wonderful house dress, but of course I would totally wear this like out on vacation too. If you haven't yet checked out my best summer dresses for any occasion, Definitely check out that video. There's tons of dress recommendations in that video. Love this one, gonna link it down below for you guys. And these little slippers I got from Walmart. So if you're interested in those, I'll link them as well. Let's get a coffee. We are now like an hour later <laughs> because I got sidetracked posting a photo to Instagram that literally took me like an hour to compile the caption with a bunch of black content creators and influencers to follow. So if you're looking for more black people to follow on Instagram, make sure to check out this post. So I'm having to wet my hair again because it had pretty much dried during the time that I was posting that photo. Actually, I posted like 10 photos in a carousel, but since I posted that caption, and so I'm just wetting my hair, it's just regular water, or you can use 100% aloe vera juice mixed with water. It is a great thing for your hair. Like it just moisturizes your hair. It really like repairs your hair, especially if you have a lot of split ends, it's good for growth. So definitely try that. I get my 100% aloe vera juice from Whole Foods. This is what it looks like. If I can find a link, I'll put it down below, but it is the 365 whole leaf aloe vera juice. I just take a spray bottle and I fill it halfway with this. This is clear by the way. It might be a little bit of a yellowish tint. I put half of this in half water, shake it up, and then I spray it on my hair. I love doing that when I have a protective style like 
marley twist or braids or anything where my hair is braided underneath or in a protective style i spray that on my hair and scalp every day to like keep my scalp moisturized and also to help with any like flaking itching if you have any kind of dermatitis or severe dandruff or anything like that this really helps that out give it a try spray it on your hair your hair will grow like wildfire y'all i'm telling you i got that tip from my girl amani she has a business it's called more kinks she is the young woman who does all of my marley twist i actually have a full video on my marley twist where she comes over and we recorded the whole thing so if you're interested in that it should be in like the beauty and hair section and i don't know if that's a public section just go into my videos and you'll find it so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my camille rose almond j twisting butter i usually start on the ends and by the way i don't really use a comb or anything on my hair like i already detangled my hair in the shower and i finger combed it i take about a section about that big and then i take some of this butter i take a lot actually because i like my hair to be really defined and then i just slather it on like so i actually need a trim so you want to make sure you really get the ends so that it's nice and kind of defined at the end and it doesn't look crazy as you can see i just drenched that whole section and then i'm just going to two strand twists and i do it not too tight i kind of do it like i stretch the hair while i'm twisting so that kind of elongates it and i go all the way to the tip y'all shrinkage is real y'all y'all see this right <laughs> shrinkage all right so then i just take my finger and kind of twirl the end like that and that is it that is the first one and i'm just gonna go through and do that to my entire hair sometimes it will leave like a little bit of a white residue don't worry about that i'll show you exactly what to do about the white residue but make sure you're using a substantial amount especially if you have very like coily hair like mine I'm just gonna go through and do the rest while watching a little youtube or maybe i'll watch homecoming oh my god have you guys seen season two of homecoming on hbo first of all i just got an amazon fire stick shout out to amazon for sending that over to me i'm gonna be working with them so make sure you guys check out that collaboration and engage with it thank you but i watched season one of homecoming i think i watched it on hulu or netflix and so i didn't even know there was a season two out until i saw it on the fire stick with janelle monet y'all if you like like kind of like thrillers like psycho thrillers it's very good definitely check out homecoming season two and i also watched the joker yesterday for the first time and it was so good oh let me get into finishing this so i can cook for you guys before it gets dark guys so i just finished twisting my hair this is what it looks like when i'm done you can see there's still a lot of like white twisting butter like left over i don't mind that because i have a trick for getting rid of that and also making sure it doesn't like flake or whatever when i take my twist out but i'm just gonna leave this overnight i'm gonna take it out in the morning and kind of show you guys what products i use and how i flip it out and what i do to get this look anywho i am starving i haven't eaten anything all day and so i am going to make a spinach tart 
and I think this is Paul McCartney's recipe. All you will need is a pie crust, I think nine ounces of spinach, butter, two cups of shredded cheese, some heavy cream and eggs, salt and pepper, and a little bit of red pepper flakes and an onion. So that's everything you need and I'm gonna go ahead and cook it for you guys. Let's do some cooking. It is the Breakstone All Natural Salted Butter, but you can use whatever kind of butter you want. The recipe calls for four tablespoons, but that's a lot. And so I only use half of that. I'm gonna cook the spinach in about a tablespoon of butter, just one. Bam! I'm gonna put that in my pot, warm that up on about medium heat, and then we're gonna cook our spinach with a little salt and pepper and maybe a little garlic mm, salt as well. All right guys, my spinach tart is done. It is so good. I can't even wait for it to like cool off. I am starving. I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna have some blood orange juice for lunch and I'm probably gonna eat another piece for dinner. You can also add like mushrooms or peppers or really just anything that you wanna add. It's super easy to make. I will put the directions and the ingredients down below in the description box or just a link to the full ingredients and the full way how to make it and you guys can check it out. Let me know if you try it too. Mm, that's good. I love the red pepper flakes because it gives it a little bit of a kick. This is delicious. Mm. All right guys, so I will check in with you all tomorrow when I untwist my hair. Tonight I'm just gonna wrap it up in like a scarf. It doesn't really matter how you wrap it up. I like to wrap mine up with all of the pieces standing up towards the middle because I feel like once I take it out, my hair will just stand up. Just bring them all 
to the top of your head and put a little hair tie on it and then wrap it in a silk scarf that way your hair kind of stands out more especially if your hair is a little bit shorter like mine so you don't have to spend so much time fluffing it up but i'll show you guys that tomorrow morning that's it for today okay i'll check in with you guys tomorrow hope you enjoyed day one morning guys it is sunday june 7th i woke up this morning made my bed like i always do brushed my teeth did a little bit of skincare this morning i used the pixie beauty retinol tonic i switched between the vitamin c tonic and the retinol tonic every other day made myself an espresso coffee this is the vanilla flavor with hazelnut creamer it's not real cream y'all know i'm lactose intolerant then i changed into some workout gear from asics they also have a similar set at walmart because i realized i have a 10 a.m workout today like i do every saturday and sunday you can still see i have my twist in i'm going to show you guys how i take that out after i finish working out and after i take a shower because i realized that during my workouts with gloria i sweat so much and I don't want to sweat sweat my hair out. I went ahead and wrapped it up in this Fom John head wrap. If you are looking for great head wraps, definitely check out Fom John. It is a black owned business. So I have to do some work today because a new YouTube video is going live today. I usually upload a new video every Sunday and, and Wednesday for all of you new folk so i'm gonna go ahead and get the description box ready for that and hopefully get it published before it's time for my workout at 10. i think it's about eight yeah it's about eight o'clock now so I, I have enough time it's just that sometimes it takes a while to find the links for everything so you guys can like shop the video or whatever but this video is actually quite short for all of those who've been asking about my marble macbook pro case it's just a little snap on in case you see i can snap the bottom off as well this is from sheet geeks and i'll put a link down to them below they're also a black owned business they run a ton of sales so if you need like super cool macbook covers definitely check them out support small business support black owned business there's a link down below all right so let me get to work so i can finish this video and upload it before my workout All right guys, so I've been working for the past hour and 45 minutes. It is now 9.45. My worst buys video just went live. Check that out. So I have about 15 minutes to get ready for my Zoom workout class. So that is what we're gonna do now. Let's get ready to work out.
morning. All right guys, just finished my workout, nice and sweaty. Now I'm gonna hop in the shower, get myself ready, and then I'm gonna show you guys how I take my twist out and what I use to prevent that like white flaky buildup from the product. Also, if you want to work out with Gloria and I, she does a Zoom class every Saturday and Sunday at 10 a.m. Black owned business if you wanna support. I will put her at down in the description box just DM her on Instagram and she'll send you links. The classes on the weekend are $10 each. They are well worth it. They are an hour long. You will get a full body workout. Definitely check her out. I'm gonna clean up and then hop in the shower. I just posted my 10 worst designer and luxury buys. It's been up for about an hour. So far it has about a thousand plus views. Thank you guys so much for always supporting me every Sunday and every Wednesday when I post. It really does help me when you give the video a thumbs up and if you share the video with your friends, there's a little button that you can click to share the video to your Facebook or anywhere to your Twitter. You could copy the link and share it if you think it's valuable or if you enjoy it. I also love reading your comments and I do try to respond to most of them. I read all of my comments, so definitely comment if you have a question or you just wanna leave me a comment about the video. And also if you're on Instagram and you take a little video of yourself watching my videos and post it to Insta stories, I will always repost those. Thank you for supporting. Now I feel gross, so I'm gonna get myself together so that I'm more presentable for you guys. All right guys, so I took a quick shower and I got myself together. I put on a face, I put on an outfit because I do have some sponsored stories I need to record today. I have a little bit of work I need to do today, but I am wearing this Hope necklace from Adornia. And I get so many questions about this necklace. Actually, the proceeds from this necklace are going to Black Lives Matter right now. So if you've already donated, if you've already signed petitions, and if you haven't done those things, there are links down below in my description box so that you can sign petitions. You could donate to help to, for bell funds, for memorials, for Breonna Taylor, and for George Floyd. But if you've done those things already and you still wanna support and also have a really lovely piece of jewelry, check out Adornia, I will put a link to this necklace down below in the description box. I also have a coupon code. It is STEEL20, all capital letters, for 20% off. And like I said, for just the Hope necklace, all of the proceeds are going to Black Lives Matter. So definitely check them out, get your necklace, use my code, and help, great thing to do, and you get like a beautiful piece of jewelry out of it. The dress is an old leopard dress from Forever 21. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, maybe like last year, I found this dress, it was like 20 bucks, and all of you bought it. But if I can find a similar dress, I will link it down below, because I'm pretty sure this one is sold out. All right guys, so here's the dress. It's a beautiful leopard print dress from Forever 21. If they still have something similar, I will link it down below, or I'll I'll just look online and see if I can find some other ones because this one is pretty old but definitely one of my favorite dresses. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I untwist my twist out. I actually usually leave my twist in for about two days and just keep my head wrapped like this or with the head wrap before taking it out so that the twists are very defined but I just did this yesterday and so I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out today just so you can see it and how it works. So let's head to my newly redesigned bathroom i'm so proud of it ah! make sure to watch that video by the way if you want any details about how i quickly redesigned my bathroom really simple with just a few different items so all you will need for this is a pick 
and some of this finishing shine from Moroccan oil or you can use the Moroccan oil treatment. Any kind of oil really will help but I love this one because it smells amazing. All right guys, let's take that. So I'm using this oil to go in and go through every two strand twist. And this is gonna help with any residue, any like white residue from the twisting gel, in my case, the Camille Rose. But this works for, for anything. You can use any kind of gel. You can use Jamaican black castor oil, any kind of oil that you like, but the oil is just gonna get rid of that extra residue. So don't even worry if you use a lot and it dries and you have that white residue, don't worry about it. And plus you're kind of hydrating your twist too. So it works. So as you can see, I no longer have any white residue even though when it dried yesterday I did. I usually also take this time to go in with a little Sunny Isle Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Just put a little on my fingers here. And I go through my temples and I kind of do a little massage because I do have hereditary alopecia. I, I do a really good job of hiding it, but sometimes you can see it to help kind of regrow my edges or just to keep it thicker and not so thin. I usually do a little massage with Jamaican black castor oil every night for about a minute before I wrap my hair and go to sleep. And it has been helping a lot. By the way, I've had this condition since I was a baby. And so there's nothing that I haven't tried or I haven't done to fix it. It's really only on this one side of my scalp and it's been like that since I was a baby. Kind of spare me the advice, <laughs> please, respectfully, please. This helps to just keep that area moisturized. This is actually really good for growing thick eyelashes. They actually have a specific one for growing your eyelashes and your eyebrows but this is just the regular oil. And I just massage it in in a circular motion. And it's just easy to do this before I take my hair out because I won't be able to really get to my scalp once I take the twist out out. Normally I just leave my twist outs out for about three days before I put it into a poof, a little ponytail. So now that I've done a little scalp massage, now I can go ahead and start taking these twists out. There's no residue that's gonna be flaking out all over the place. So let's just get started. There we go, first one done. I wanna show you guys the definition if I can get close enough. So there's really good definition with that Camille Rose twisting butter. And so if you're interested, I'll put it down below. I'm just... All right guys, so I've taken out all the twists and this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go through and like kind of break it up a little bit more all around. Also, this is usually the time where I would cut my hair or cut my ends because after you do a twist out, you can really see where the ends need to be trimmed, but my hair scissors broke and so I'm waiting on some new ones. And so I usually do this about once a week so I can just wait until next week to cut my ends but this is a great time to cut them because you can really see like what's healthy and what's not after you take the two strand twist out like this i could just snip that right off and that's just a great way to really be able oh there's another twist to see what's not healthy so let me finish taking a few of these out i've I apparently missed a few
all right guys so i've gone through and i've separated a lot of them into smaller pieces and now i'm just going to take my pick and at the root lift everything so let's go in all right guys so i've been picking and detangling and stretching for like <laughs> 10 minutes and this is the best it's gonna be right now I find that on the first day you take it out your ends will be a little sharp I mean that's just the nature of how it's gonna work usually I feel like my best day of my twist out is the second day after I've like showered and my hair has gotten a little bit of humidity and the curls kind of settle it won't be as sharp but there's really nothing that you can do about that you have to give it a while before it settles especially with my type of hair it's just not going to come out looking perfect and also i i can rarely get it to do the same thing twice so i usually have the hair going this way and just a little bit over it this way because that's just how i like it to look but also to kind of tie it in i also like to do my baby hair so i'm gonna do that really quickly and you guys that is pretty much it for my twist out it's gonna look really cute tomorrow and then like maybe the third or fourth day when it's done literally i'll just take one of these really thick headbands put it around the base of my entire head and like pull all the hair up and fluff it out just to make a little puff. That's all I do. Really when I wear my puff out, my puff ponytail, that's just the fourth or fifth day of a twist out and there's nothing left that I can do with it. So I'll just leave it in a puff for about two or three days before I wash it. Let's do something with these baby hairs and then let's eat some lunch guys because all I've had today was a cup of coffee and some water from working out. And like, I need sustenance. Also, don't forget to get the back because a lot of times I forget to get the back and then it doesn't look as full. If you have an issue with your hair being thin and it won't look this thick, I mean, literally, I had to pick forever for it to look full. But you can also use like hair clips. Big Chop Hair has very kinky hair clips that are kind of a match for this. So if I wanted it to be bigger, I could just put in some hair clips. So if you have a problem with fullness, definitely check out Big Chop Hair and their kinky hair clips. They're super easy to use and they look very natural and they come in different colors too. So you can match it up to your natural hair if you want a fuller look without like wearing a wig and wearing your actual hair. So I'll put a link down to Big Chop Hair below. A really amazing black owned business. I feel cute. I'm gonna take some pictures for the gram. Thank you so much for watching details to everything can be found down below in the description box if you enjoyed this video please do give me a thumbs up make sure to subscribe and also hit that little notification bell so that you never miss a video and i hope you all enjoyed spending the weekend with me don't forget to sign those petitions and donate to black lives matter the details are also down below there's also a list of black owned businesses and black influencers to follow as well. Cheers guys. I hope you all have a good week. Uh -huh.